three-day weekend coming up. A lot of things to do, including in Lano, the Bluebell Bluegrass Festival that is going on in our studio this morning to tell us about it. Tex Toller from the Lano Main Street is the manager there. Good morning, Tex. Good morning. Good Thanks to see for you. making the drive. Thanks for having me. <laughs> I guess, first of all, the question that everybody's asking about, it's still called the Blue Gra- uh, Bluebell Bluegrass Festival, even though <laughs> there's no Bluebell ice cream this there's year. There's no Bluebell ice cream, unfortunately, and we're all hoping and praying for the best for the company. Yes, bless their hearts. you got to give them kudos because, you know, you hear about some of these big companies today, like uh, the, the airbag people who needed right. to recall their airbags but refused to take responsibility. Bluegrass, the minute, uh, Bluegrass, Bluebell, <laughs> the minute they, they heard there, there might be a problem, they didn't waste any time and pulled their product just because they care about their customers. They so did. We, didn't we help hope, us much. Yeah, yeah darn it. you got to give kudos to Lano, too, because y'all are c- continuing to call it the Bluebell Bluegrass. Yes. We are. We're sticking by them, dancing with the one who brung us and, <laughs> until they get better. But uh, in the meantime, we will have ice cream. Right. Yeah. The ladies of Lano are banding together and cranking out gallons of homemade, of homemade vanilla ice cream <laughs> oh. so that we'll have that whether you want it on your cobbler mm-hmm. or not. So, <laughs> See, and what, you know, if you've got to replace Bluebell ice cream, the only thing you could replace it with would be homemade vanilla. Because they're the closest thing exactly. to homemade. So exactly. we'll have real homemade. And, and the then, ladies of Lana will have really good biceps from cranking right. the ice cream. They probably will recruit all the men in Lano to do that. <laughs> <laughs> now tell us, Tex, for those that have never been there for the Bluegrass Festival that y'all hold on a yearly basis, what is it all about? What do y'all do there? The focus is on the bluegrass music uh-huh. and uh, has been. And as Lano continues to become a, a, a music mecca mm-hmm. in the hill country you know we came off the fiddle fest in april right yep. and now the bluegrass which involves a lot of the same instruments yes. but different you know with the fiddle fest you can play fiddle to classical or jazz rock and or roll, rock and, roll mm-hmm. and country but uh, bluegrass is its own it's its own and it's specific really the roots. animal it's really the roots of many of those other formats very of much music. so and so we've got uh, the headline band wood and wire <sighs> and are fantastic uh, uh, lots of other you know the best bluegrass anywhere in texas in the southwest and um, because of the nature of Memorial Day weekend mm-hmm. seems to be the historic rain date, <laughs> yeah. uh, and we've had this outside on the uh, courthouse square. We decided to have it more controlled this mm-hmm. time, and uh, praying for good weather. We're not right. praying against the rain. We're just <laughs> praying about the timing. Yes. We'll uh, still have the vendors around the square. Fantastic. And a bluegrass jam from the courthouse steps. Mm -hmm. And so the music on the uh, square will be filled with bluegrass, but the, the headline bands will be inside in the, in the great acoustics of our, Land historic Lantex Theater, Land Land Theater yeah. Yeah. which is we, it's being restored and, and nearly there, and, and so it's in all of its uh, former Art Deco glory. I love it. And everybody raves about the acoustics in there, mm-hmm. so uh, it'll be nice, air-conditioned. People can go in, in and out. It's right across the street from the square, and uh, so if you're inside or outside, you got bluegrass music. And Perfect. And it, isn't it, too, through the weekend, aren't some of the local, like the Badu House and the Fuel Coffee House, aren't they also kind of holding some... The Fuel, Live music events Fuel well. is having a, uh, uh, a workshop, music oh, workshop, on uh, Friday, uh, Saturday, uh, and oh, and then the the uh, Taste of Lano happens Friday night. Oh yeah! So you get a fifteen dollar wristband, and this is the first time we've charged for the whole event. But it costs money to book these great That's bands, right. and That's so right. we've got better better bands and more bands this year. So you get a fifteen dollar wristband. You can get into the Taste of Lano. Mm-hmm. So you got a you got a meal right there Heck with yeah. twenty five uh, of the restaurants providing mm-hmm. food, and there's going to be bluegrass jam going on there under the big tent at the American Legion Hall. Love it. Five dollars of that will go to the Lano Food Pantry. Oh, that's great. So you get that. Then Saturday, all day bluegrass inside the Lantex, and you can wander in inside or out. And that's included. And, in the price. That's included in the price. And then Sunday is the bluegrass gospel inside Which is the fantastic land. Fantastic, too, yeah. And now, Saturday night, there'll be a jam at the Badu just to uh, uh, 
a- answer cool. that to you. Okay. So. And you're also going to have a, a cobbler competition. Yeah, let's get down to the important issue yeah. here. <laughs> it's the food <laughs> element. Yeah. Uh, and, it's and, all about uh, the cobbler. We have uh, judges offering to pay cash money to us to judge <laughs> next year. I bet. Uh, they offered this year, too. But uh, we had our first cobbler contest last year. Mm-hmm. It was a big hit. And uh, we looked around and nobody had claimed the state title for yeah. something that should be in the same breath as barbecue. Yeah. Exactly. And we're a barbecue capital, so they go hand in hand in glove or hand, or, hand in mouth. Yeah, or, yeah, or <laughs> nap, hand in napkins, whatever. And, and uh, so uh, we decided to claim the state title. So, well, so the Texas title cobbler contest will go on Saturday. Yes. And if there's somebody out there that, uh, that thinks they make the best cobbler, how can they enter the contest? They need to deliver their cobbler to the court, the lower floor of the courthouse mm-hmm. between 9.30 and 11 on Saturday morning. There's no entry fee. Okay. All right. And we have... Uh, we have a baker's dozen, even of of uh, celebrity judges. They're foodies <laughs> and uh, writers of food books and uh, uh, articles. And, all right, now let's and, talk uh, about the serious stuff for the people that just want to go up there and eat the food. Do we get to taste that cobbler <laughs> after the winners are announced? I think somewhere around on the schedule. I think it's around uh, two or two thirty mm-hmm. because uh-huh. um, it's going to take a while for these judges oh, to. Oh yeah, because there's that. several categories. So if there's any left. Yeah. Over from the judging, it will, yeah. it will be available for the public. There, there will be leftover, and uh, uh, and so it's not. No, there's no double dipping. Right, you know, they yes. use a spoon in each one and 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 spoon out some. All so right. the the leftover cobblers will be taken out. They'll be served to the public, except for the winners, which will be auctioned off, and that goes Fantastic. to support our Main Street product okay. project. So That's you great. get. And I know bread. one of the one of the participants, the one of the, who is not revealing her top secret recipe, but you see, it's not grass. Oh. She's is entering the competition. She's, she's been talking a lot of yeah. trash talk on Facebook about this, <laughs> and so have other people. If you go to Tolano Bluegrass on Facebook, you will see the the, the smack and yeah. the, the, the it's, trash talk. It's, it's some it's, serious it, stuff. It is getting serious. <laughs> well, the wristbands now are fifteen dollars. You get a both days bluegrass at the Lantex Theater, and you purchase tickets at the Lantex or the Lano, uh, Lano Chamber of Commerce. But get That's out right. there this weekend. It is the Blue Bell Bluegrass Festival. Uh, music, food, arts, and Crafts, cobbler, and homemade ice cream. <laughs> and as you leave the gates, there'll be somebody from Weight Watchers there to talk to you. <laughs> you won't be harassed. <laughs> <laughs> Tex Toller from Milano uh, Main Street. We appreciate you coming in, and good luck this weekend. Appreciate right? it. It'll yeah, be man. fun.